Thank you for checking out the fifth episode of Should You Read? And this one is for Should You Read Hellraiser, the Hellraiser comic uh, that is by Boom Studios. And the short answer of it is yes, you should read that if you're into Hellraiser and stuff like that. Um, one of the great things about this particular property, uh, besides the artwork, the artwork is really cool because it's more of like a, it's kind of like dirty, messy type art, not, not very clean. Um, which goes really well with the horror feel, especially with the Hellraiser feel. Uh, if, I would recommend that you be actually be pretty familiar with Hellraiser. Um, well, at least the Hellbound Heart, the, the short book by, by Clive Barker. Um, but the movies help too, because this comic actually picks up after the second movie, which is one of the best things in my opinion, because the... <laughs> Every movie after the second is just garbage. It's just ugh, different degrees of garbage, but um, it progressively worse and worse and worse. But one and two, awesome. Love one and two. So for this to have picked up after that, love it. That's it's a great choice. So story wise, really good. Um, there wasn't anything stupid with it. I kind of saw this and I was just like a Hellraiser comic. It might be kind of dumb. They might kind of just rehash a lot of the stuff that's already been done. But no, Clive Barker's a writer on this. He steps in and he keeps the story going, is making it fresh, and it's really cool. I think he only stays on for about the first 10 issues, but I'm not 100% on that. I do know that at some point he drops out because I looked ahead and was like, oh, should I be buying this? So the writing team does change at some point. Uh, but for as far as I read, it was Clive Barker involved and it was really good. Um, but I'm also like a really big Hellraiser fan, and you know, Pinhead's like my favorite. Pinhead and and the Tall Man from Phantasm are my favorite movie horror movie villains. So love it. Um, one of the cool things about it is it introduces this idea of a group called the Harrowers. Now this isn't really spoiling much because that's introduced like pretty much immediately. But the Harrowers are basically just like a group of people who have survived um, Pinhead and encounters with Pinhead, but then they're also trying to track him down. So that's as much as I'm going to tell you. And that alone, if you're a Hellraiser fan, should grab you like, oh my God, that makes me want to read this because it's such a cool concept. You know, like these people who have been running from Pinhead are now turning around and being like, oh, we formed this group and we've been talking about this. Now we're going to go after him. We're going to get him. And ah, there's just so much excitement there. So I haven't purchased this yet. I I have been toying with the fact, uh, the idea of purchasing this. It's not my 100% favorite comic. There are comics I like a lot more. Uh, like I said, I really like the writing in this, but from a more objective standpoint, uh, it's, it's not the best writing. It's not the best artwork. It's not the best comic. So I did grade it a little bit low. I gave it three stars out of five on Comixology, but... If I could give it that, you know, if I did do halves, I would give it like a three and a half. So it's a little bit closer to a four, but I can't give it a four. It's not quite there, but I really like it. So I, I definitely recommend it mainly for people who are into horror and especially for people who really know the Hellraiser story. You might not want to get into it if you don't know the Hellraiser story yet because it, you just might be kind of lost, to be honest. Um, yeah. I mean, maybe you could kind of be stick with it for a little bit, but I, I feel like you'd be kind of lost. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Really fun, really interesting. If you love horror and you love Hellraiser, it's for you. Pinhead is great in it. The story, I'm loving it with Clive Barker. So a little hesitant about when Clive Barker ends up dropping out of the issues whenever I would get to that point. Um, but at some point, I think I'm going to you know, stick with that, go back to it, and, and try and go as far as I can. So anyway, everyone, thank you for checking this out. Stick around for the next one. Check out some of the back episodes. And if you have any suggestions, you can send me a email at brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. And brutal is B-R-E-W-T-A-L. Once again, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. But until next time, keep it brutal.